Gotta go to the other side of the building, pick it up. <laughs> oh, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Oh, hey. Boy. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Quantum Machinery Group has hooked us up with a massive welding table that is much needed. The other night I was welding on some blocks of wood with a piece of sheet metal clamped to them, and I said, this is ridiculous. So, we contact a few welding table companies, and uh, we hooked up with Quantum. They did us an awesome, awesome deal that, you know, we couldn't refuse. So we're picking this behemoth up. It's 2175, so 2175 pounds. Good gosh, it's a huge table. So we're about to load it up. And then one of my buddies is gonna bring his bobcat over to get it off the trailer and let us install it in the garage. It'll be pretty awesome. That's for show. Sure. And we gotta wait on Julio to bring it down. Hello! Ooh, there's a guy right there. That guy hurt me. <laughs> what is getting, boss? I got 11 pieces of gum in my mouth. <laughs> I'm just, uh... He's just sitting there staring at you like, what are you supposed to be doing? I'm kind of a little bit worried about my old janky tires on my trailer. They're just... They're more slick on the inside. Okay, let's go over the legal operations. Uh, I got bad tires on the trailer, which that ain't illegal, but dangerous. Uh, we're going to get some very soon. Have no trailer brakes, or trailer lights. Uh, the plug's broken, and it probably needs just all new junk. It's pretty ratty back there. Our tags are out of date. And at this moment in time, I'm not wearing a seatbelt. Or <laughs> a violation. Do I care? Yeah, I care. I don't give a deal. Side note, before we have any mishaps on the way home, I told him to get trailer tires today. With your bank account? <laughs> the spare on the trailer is completely war slick. Like, it has threads sticking out of it. It's bad. He never wants to give out his cards. Is that too close? That's good. There's the side view. <laughs> Top. Other side. And bottom. These. Front. <laughs> back. Side. Side. Bottom. Top. Oh, hey there. Baffle Bill and Hogfoot Larry's brother. Oh, that's a sister. My bad. arrived safe and sound with our welding table. It's been a couple of days. We're waiting on a pork truck or actually a bobcat with pork sonic to come over. So this is usually where we do a lot of our fabricating. We've been using this motorcycle lift, which actually has been awesome. It's about 430 bucks from Harbor Freight. I think when I got it, it was like 280. It was on a big parking lot sale. And this has been one of the best investments in the shop, but it sucks because it's powder coated. I'm not going to grind the paint to be able to use this as a welding table and it's not level of course and all of my stuff used to be behind me my bandsaw vice grinder and now we have drill press uh good old cheap drill press so hopefully that'll come in handy which i'm sure it will because we've been drilling with hand drills and it's garbage 
So this will be the fab corner from now on. Uh, we made it so we didn't block the Patreon wall. And you'll see the Patreon wall more because this used to be just the metal scrap and it kept flowing outward and outward. So now we've made the metal corner over there. So uh, what we're gonna do is put the motorcycle lift in the old part of the garage. And when we need it, we can roll it in its own wheels. That'll be no problem. Uh, but we're gonna try to keep the, this will not work. We're gonna try to keep the old part of the garage clean for mini bike builds. Do most mini bike, that's the problem with mini bike Mondays. We have the shifter cart in here and to start a mini bike, we have to get the shifter cart out and maybe it's gonna rain that week and we got a lot of bare metal and I don't want it to rust up. Even with tarps, you know, you're gonna get moisture from the ground and it'll still rust. So it'll be handy to have that for a mini box. That would be awesome. Do a little bit better lighting in there. And uh, so that'd be sweet, but we'll see how that plays out. Probably won't work out to our advantage. Welding table is eight by four. So it's 10 inches longer than this table. And it's uh, almost double the width as this uh, motorcycle lift. So we're gonna put it about this far. That'll give us plenty of room from the wall. And that'll also make the table not stick out past the entry of the door. So if we're pulling in anything large, it's not gonna hurt anything. So I'm gonna go get some wood. I'm gonna build a second shelf on that uh, work table over there to store metal, like my flat stock, my angle iron in sections. And Go Power Sports sells these, um, this is a cut one, but steering wheel hoops. We use these all the time when we need quick, this is one inch tubing. Uh, when we need bins real fast, we'll just cut these down and use these. So these come in handy. And also, the uh, these are the footrests on go-karts as well as the grab handle on the dash. We use these all the time too. We just cut them up, use them how we need them, and we use them for their purpose from time to time too. You think I'd be better at this by now? Also, I didn't put an outlet on this wall. I knew when I was doing this, I should have put a, an extra outlet, uh, but I didn't. So I'm gonna get a heavy duty power strip that has like six plugs on it and run it along this wall, plugged up to that last outlet. And then I can kind of, we'll never be running two of the, like maybe two of these machines at once, but they're all 110. They're not gonna pull a huge, amount of power the grinder would be only thing I would assume would pull a lot of power but so we need to put a power strip low so we're also going to get that more money more problems we don't have no money so we haven't got much problems <laughs> Two days cleaning out the garage. And it's still a mess. <laughs> it's still a mess. To bring the welding table in today. I tell you what, I gave Braxton a lot of stuff. You got permission from the neighbors to drive around? Yes, I went and talked to the old neighbors and they gave me the full go ahead. And we may be buying a little bit of their property. Probably not, I don't think they'll sell it to us, but we're gonna try our best. We set these uh, on the tongue of the trailer, this one. So each leg of this table can withstand uh, 4,000 pounds a piece. So 
So we're gonna pop the seal on this bad boy. Jeepers, mister, you're really strong. Well, you know, I work out. Well, I did back in high school. Well, I've seen people working out. I knew how to work out. Well, they had a workout facility. Look at that, look at that. Oh my God. Water just sprayed in my face. All right. You know what it looks like? Welding table, fixture yeah. table. Yeah. Ah, you thought you were me? Snazzy, gotcha. So this is their, their mounting hook to uh, lift this thing up. And these little fixtures are freaking sweet. They got three ball bearings in them. And when you tighten this down, it pushes those ball bearings out. And that will hold the table up. That just amazes me that that'll, that'll hold 2,000 pounds up. So we have two of them in it. And we're waiting on the bobcat to get here. We're gonna run a chain. I have a towing chain in my truck. And we'll just chain it up, lift it up and bolt the legs on. And then after that, he's just going to carry it around to the, the door. And then that'll be the fun part, getting it shimmied in there. I don't know how tall his bobcat is. My door is seven foot. Hoss of a table. Yeah, that's the first time Brandon's seen it, like, unwrapped. The first time all of us seen it unwrapped. cleaned it or anything still oily from where they ship it coated you know to keep it protected and it still has some footprints where Braxton and Brandon was walking around on it but 
this is a massive upgrade for our garage this is just this is a blessing from god completely when we was talking to companies about a welding table we never imagined we would get you know this is assembly line quality like you could use this in a factory all day for 400 years and it wouldn't wear this table out this is just amazing i never thought we would have a piece of equipment like this in our garage this it blows my mind they hooked us up uh, quantum machinery it's a huge shout out to their company they sell just insane equipment for for factory use for high production and the fact that they sent us this table and all this tooling for it all the clamps fixtures and we don't know how to use half this stuff i mean we know how to use the clamps and stuff but all these uh, fixtures will come in handy once we start using the table so this is by no means a review of this table we'll be doing a full standalone video on how awesome this table is for our shop but just the fact that i can build a motor mount that'll hold a 212 all the way up to a 670 and be able to bolt it down to the table will be awesome because no engine is going to vibrate this table when we bolted it to the wood table the 670 it we almost dropped a uh, 212 off of the table it was vibrating so bad so this will be a perfect table to do things like that it's just going to take our garage to the next level and this is amazing so massive massive shout out to quantum machinery group they completely hooked us up this is I can't say enough this is amazing so links to this table and their website will be down in the description below of course and this fixture set the tooling set it's just a massive uh massive deal for us so now this is the whole fab side this table will probably never be moved it's dead level we got it level we tested levelness everywhere's on it and that's going to be amazing so i know a lot of the younger viewers don't really probably don't understand why you would need a table like this or why you would want one uh, the big deal with this, like when I built the four-seater uh, frame, I had to take a piece of sheet metal and lay on a bunch of four by fours, and then I had to shim it everywhere to get as level as possible um, floor. Because my garage, my old garage, was crazy off-level. This garage is tilted this way, but it's fairly level. But when you're building the frame, you want everything to be dead level, as level as possible, so your frame's going to be straight. That's why you would want something like this. If you're building a arms you're building go-kart frames anything you know now when we built the floor of the twin engine we had to do it on the concrete floor and it turned out good but i couldn't imagine having this when we build the single seater independent full suspension buggy uh, this is going to be our main workspace we can bolt you know these clamps will clamp tubing down to the table hold it still for you, you can change the angles of them so we'll be able to build the whole floor dead level on top of this table so then when we build up from there we know if some if we need to make something level it's going to be level one problem with the uh, twin engine when we would check the levelness of the floor we you know and it wasn't quite level we would have to build everything else not quite level to make it level if that makes any sense so that's the reason you would want one of these tables you're just going to have a dead perfectly flat workspace and you know your part's going to come out right if you build on something like this so this is again just going to take our our builds to the next level so huge huge shout out to quantum a big shout out to my main man jesus for hooking this up uh, this was a a complete god thing that's for sure but uh yeah so i can't wait to get this thing into use we're going to start using it immediately we got projects that's about to go on this table so um thank you guys for watching make sure to go check out quantum machinery group links for this table and other tables will be in the description below the the tooling kit and everything so yeah make sure to tune in to monday's video where we review the trail master and thank you guys for watching May God bless. Redbeard's Garage is powered by GoPowerSports.com. GoPowerSports has a huge amount of awesome go-kart and mini bike parts. And when making your purchase, use the Redbeard discount code in the upper right-hand corner of your shopping cart to grab yourself a sweet deal. Hit that subscribe button and make sure the notification bell is on so you'll never miss another episode. And go check us out on Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, and Pinterest to stay up to date with the channel. Guys, always come back to Redbeard's Garage. I'm out.